Hi, it's Colleen, and today I made my eyeliner really big so you wouldn't look at my hair. I hope it's working. I have been loving this trend lately with companies making weird colored lipsticks. I have been waiting forever for this trend to finally be a thing because I've always been kind of like, I want to wear something cool. I don't know. I want to find something weird. As you saw from my last video, I already have a turquoise lipstick and it just fueled my fire. I also mentioned in that video that that color I got would look much better with a white base underneath. So, uh, spoiler alert, I found a white lipstick. Anywho, I mostly focused on two different brands and lines. So NYX has their liquid suede lipstick and they have a huge range of shades now. I got one sort of strange color from their first line, which is the gray one. And now I got a couple more now that they have some flashier colors out there. And Maybelline came out with their Loaded Bulls collection. And so a lot of these are also kind of weird colors. So I figured I would just buy a few of them and try them on with you and laugh at how silly I look. Okay, but for real, to illustrate how excited I am about these weird lipsticks, uh, do any of you remember in a video I posted over a year ago, I got a gold lipstick from Wet n Wild in some limited edition fall collection they had. I think it was 2014. And I was so excited over that gold. This one is gold. Look at it. It's gold. It's so cool. Okay, anyway. Yeah. I'm going to start with the Maybelline lipsticks because they will be a little bit easier to get off than the NYX lipsticks. So I'm just going to jump right in. I'm going to start with one that's not super weird, um, but it's called Gone Grage. And the whole grage lipstick thing is not new, uh, but I haven't been able to find one, especially one from the drugstore. So this one is just like this, and I'm pretty sure it's just going to be like a nude on me, but we'll have to see. Okay, this is Gone Grage. I actually really like this. Like, it's a little weird, it's a little gray, but I think it actually could work for real life. What do you think? Let me know. Now I may as well get to the one that I spilled for you. We're gonna try on Maybelline's Wickedly White, and it is very white. I look so weird. I just looked up from my little mirror and I just got the context of my whole face and man, this looks strange. So yeah, they weren't kidding when they said this was white. I mean, it matches my t-shirt. Uh, the downside with this color is it is showing every single dry patch and line in my lips like crazy. Um, so I mean, the whole point of this for me was to use it as a base, and I suppose I could probably smooth it out. This just looks so weird. I keep seeing myself in the little viewfinder, and I, it's just so funny. I can't, I can't do this. I need to take this off right now. Next, I went for a bright purple, and I have one bright purple lipstick right now, and it's from Revlon, and it's one of those matte balm lipstick stick things. And... I like it, but it is a little patchy, so I'm kind of hoping that Violet Vixen will do the trick here. <laughs> I still have chunks of white on my lips. It looks like I literally put white out on my lips. It's so bad. Anyway. This one is really similar to that Revlon one I have, but it's a little more bright purple, whereas the Revlon one is more like a darker purple. This next one is the one that I was the most excited about. It is Sapphire Sirens. This is like a bright blue and I don't know why but for some reason the idea of a bright blue lipstick was really exciting. So this is filling my dreams in every way that I thought possible. Why do I love this so much? Like, this is not something that anyone ever wears outside of a YouTube video or an Instagram photo or on Pinterest, but this looks awesome. All right, it's time to take this off. I'm a little sad. I really kind of just want to keep this on forever. The last shade that I got from this line is Chocoholic, which is a dark matte brown. Um, and I don't know why 
uh, the browns stood out to me. I've seen people wearing darker browns a lot more recently, I think. Like the Kylie collection has one now and a couple other brands have come out with like a dark true chocolate brown lipstick. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to compliment me very well, but we'll see. This shade went on pretty much like liquid lipstick, like it was so creamy. But brown lip liners are a bit easier to find than bright blue or white, so I think that will be okay. And you know what? I don't hate this. I'm not sure about it. Maybe in the fall it will look a little nicer, but I think with like the platinum hair and my brown eyes, like I'm not sure if this is really working for me. Eh. Moving on to the NYX lipsticks, I don't have very many from this. Um, I almost got the like aqua blue one, but I thought, well, I have the MAC turquoise, so I don't really need another turquoise. And I think they had like another shade that I was like, eh, I'm not really sure, but now I'm kind of like, I should have gotten all of them. I should have gotten all of them. Anyway, I'm going to start with a shade called Brooklyn Thorn, which on Ulta's website looked like an olive green, but in real life is very much not an olive green. sure how to describe this color. It's almost like that grayish Maybelline shade I just tried on, but darker. So it's like brown. It's almost like I'm going to try on the actual true gray next, and it's similar. It's just more brown, warm toned gray than this like true gray. So that'll be an interesting comparison. Okay, so this is the next one. This is in Stone Fox. This is definitely more of a gray gray, like almost a blue gray, like matches the paint on my walls. Blue gray. Does this count as like interior decorating? Like am I an adult yet? So between these two grayish shades, obviously Brooklyn Thorn, the first one was a little more wearable or passable to wear out in the world. I think they did a really good job making gray not look like muddy. Or weird. I think the first one has enough warmth to it and this one has enough blue to it where they actually do look flattering and I feel like this one especially would look flattering on a lot of different people so I don't know maybe it's worth a try if the bright blue doesn't do it for you. Speaking of bright blue the last one I got from this NYX liquid slate liquid slate loom the last shade I got is another bright blue because I thought it would be interesting to compare the two different colors, plus one of them's a liquid and one of them's not, so I mean they're like totally different, right? If you also have too much makeup, you know you do it too. You justify why you have a million of the same color of things. Ah yes, another beauty. This blue feels a little more like, not like on the green side, but it's not as much as like a blue blue, if that makes sense. This one feels a little more like a lighter blue. I'm just gonna swatch them on my hand. That's probably the best way to compare this. The Maybelline one is more, it's like closer to a navy blue, but they actually had a navy blue one that I didn't get, and I'm starting to wonder why. It would be like almost black. Um, and. Bite Beauty has one of those too. I think it's called Squid Ink. That one's like a navy blue. So that's another thing going on with the blue lipsticks. There's like different shades of blue now. It's like blowing my mind. My camera overheated, so I had to switch to my iPhone. So excuse the janky photography for the last couple minutes of this video. My point of comparing these two blues is to continue to justify my purchase of two separate blue lipsticks. They are in fact very different blues. So if you're looking for a blue lipstick, you know, these are things you want to keep in mind because if you're going to invest in a weird colored lipstick, you want to make sure it's the right weird color. Overall, both of these collections did a really good job including these bright, strange colors into these lines. They don't feel or look different in their finish or, um, or their application from the quote regular shades in their collection. So I think both companies did a great job with this. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're looking for me, you can find me at any of the social media handles you'll see on the end screen or down below in the info box, 
or as always you can find me at brokefruitbeauty.com. Thanks again for watching, check down below for some links, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!